For this project, we're just using a little wooden heart and we're painting it with white chalk paste. So it did take two coats and I painted the whole thing. And then I sanded it once it was dry. And for the ears, because we're making a bunny, for the ears, I used drop cloth for the back of the ears and then this cute little pink polka dot fabric for the end, for the front of the ears. I, I used hot glue, it's um, Sherbond. So this glue gun has Sherbond in it, which is good for fabrics. And I just put a pipe cleaner on the inside and then I glued the pink fabric to the top of it. And then I went around the side and glued it closed. And then once I got both of those done, I did use my little personal gator sander to um, just distress the edges of it to make it look a little worn. And you can get those at Amazon. I then pinched the ears and glued them. And then I just cut off the extra uh, pipe cleaner. And I did have a little uh, bow that I made out of fabric. I took a Dollar Tree bead. I just took one bead out of the package. <laughs> And I put twine through it. That's going to be our whiskers. So then I glued the ears on. I glued the bow on. I glued the little nose on. And then I drew on some eyes. I like to draw them first just in case because then I can erase them. <laughs> and then I just used black acrylic paint to paint on the little eyes. I'm getting more comfortable doing faces. You know, for a long time I was not so comfortable. I did put a little line underneath the eyes. It kind of gives them like the appearance of like little cheeks or something. I did add eyelashes and then I did add little white dots and then I did add blush for the cheeks. So I just, I used real blush. You could use pink paint with a dauber. I separated the twine so there's, so it looks more like whiskers on both sides and I cut them down. And then I did, for some reason, I added eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know, she's cute. You could leave her like this, but we're not going to. I'm using our five by seven, no, it's our five by 12 out of the box frame. And I'm using one transfer out of this set. And we're gonna talk about those. They're, um, I think we could do something for each each one of those using this frame, just change it out, just keep switching it. That's why I love the out of the box frames because you can switch them out, you can change them. So I just use glue dots so that if I do wanna change it, I can just pull her off. So I put her on top of the frame and then I added another little fabric bow to the other side. And then I didn't think it was enough it needed more. So I waxed my surface over the, what I had painted um, or pasted, sorry, because if uh, our stickers, our stickers, our transfers are sticky and it might pull up the paint. So if you wax, it's not going to pull it up. So I just added some flowers that are on the transfer to the top and the bottom and I used Marvelous and Eucalyptus. I did put a link to everything I used from my store in the description if you're interested. Put it back in the frame and I think it's really cute. I like it. I wanna know what you think. I think that we could do a beach ball for soak in the sunshine, make room to bloom, we could add a flower, home of the brave, a flag or a star or an Uncle Sam. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button, hit that share button for me, and I'll see you soon.